Hi everybody. This is Boston's Blessed Witch, aka Ashley. So I want to talk to you today about Saint Martha. Saint Martha usually has a green color candle. Um, I use her so much that I don't even like. I have a picture printed out next to my candle on my altar, and I use her. She is very, very great. She's an excellent saint. She's good for protection. She's good for, um, let me see so I wouldn't forget. Protection, bringing an unfaithful man back, basically subduing your enemies and protection, protecting your kids, uh, your home, fixing your boss. Um, that's another one. So what I do is, well, when I have clients do things, I would have them wash it off and then pray a couple of prayers into it and then I would stick you can always stick ingredients and herbs whatever is associated with the saint um, I know that like in other candle spells you do it with what, what your desire is but um it's kinda different with the saint so um, I'll leave it at that so I know that you can you know, you can rub it, you can, um, on your body, on your, you know, um, blow life into it. You can do whatever you want. But I know that there was a few instances that I have had with things that, um, that she, I had used her to, me and my boss were like battering wicked bad. And he was, you know, just a guy who, owned three stores, was going through to um back and forth between all three stores and he basically would always yell and I'm like, Listen guy, I don't have time for this. Like I'm here to work. So it became so bad and I knew I could feel the negative energy in the air. You could just feel it. And um I t I, t I went to St. Martha and I got a picture of him and I did a little something with it and not even twenty four hours later he got electrocuted in front of me. Like, not enough to kill him or anything, but like I said, St. Well, St. Martha will deal with a man heavy-handedly if she has to. So, um, let me shut this TV off here. Distraction. So, anyways, she will deal with a man heavy-handed. She, you can use her to, um, say there's a child picking on your child at school. And the mother isn't doing anything about it. You can do something on that mom so she will straighten up that woman as to be a woman and to be a mom and to actually do something about her kid's behavior and picking on your child. So that's another one. Um, oh my god, there's just so many things you can do. Protection, like I said. Um, always give her her offerings first. That's how it's worked for me. Um, some people it takes up to like two weeks my between my ancestors and her. I did it on my ancestor um next to my ancestor altar, so I asked for my things i mean my ancestors to um to maneuver in there and help her with the work that was being done because my boss was just it was just I'm no longer at the job anyway because <sighs> I didn't listen to spirit. Spirit was telling me. I kept pulling my cards out. They're telling me, you know, leave, health concerns, all this stuff. And I ended up having like a really, really, really bad anxiety attack. So actually the second one I've had in my whole life. Um, and it was bad. And I didn't listen still. And I got into a car accident. So, yeah, it's all pretty... If you don't listen, guys, if you don't listen to your spirits or your ancestors or your guides, they will rattle things up a little bit because they can see it's the light at the end of the tunnel. They know what you're supposed to be doing. They know your purpose. We don't. We don't know our purpose. We may try or we may try to set a goal, but I feel like your ancestors are just number one there for you, you know, as long as you call the ones who are, who walk with you and who want to protect you and things like that, but I'll get into that in another video. But so same Martha. Same Martha's day is Tuesday. Her color is green or you could use white. Um 
she's used for shut, sh you know, shut people's mouths up, um, to, to stop bad intent, bad intentions, bad thoughts, bad anything coming at you in the workplace. Like she is a patron of the home, and to keep women happy, pretty much. So she will um, make sure that your kids are at. If you ask her to get your kids in line, she will. She's not going to do anything harmful to them. But she can get your kids in line. She can get your husband in line. She can get your boss in line. She can get another woman in line. Um, she does work with men. A lot of people say that she doesn't, but she does. And um, as long as they're not the ones screwing around because then their work will just backfire. So um, I feel like you can use it for pretty much anything that is negative and you want it to alleviate your life. You want it to go away. You want it to shut up. You want it to, um, like, you can, you don't ask her for money. She's not a money saint. Um, but you can ask her to, you know, soak out the negative energy at your job atmosphere and have things run smoothly because I was doing that for a while. I have to light her every week. I have to keep the work, keep going, keep going. And it was always like she would always just do the job. And then when I stopped for a while, you know, he would start his crap again. So it was like, there's no possible way to keep burning these candles forever and ever and ever if I'm not meant to be here. So I'm just like, you know what? I'm just going to stop lighting her and see what happens. And spirit, my ancestors make sure I got the, um, I got the 411, so. But you know what? I'm doing much better. Like, I, I'm, I'm not having anxiety attacks. I'm not, you know, I don't have hot, like, heavy weight in my chest. I can, I can breathe. I was getting, like, tingles up my left arm. And I've been in the medical field. And that's, like, signs of a stroke or a heart attack. And uh, underneath the rib cage and stuff. So, um. Yeah, it was definitely health concerns, just like my tarot was red. So I need I need to be careful um, on listening, and people do too. I mean, sometimes we don't we don't even heed our own mother's advice. So that's the way it is sometimes. But you want to you want to connect, but it was so hard sometimes for people because if they really need the job, they don't want to give it up. You know, they need to pay the bills, they need to do this, they need to do that. They don't want to leave the job and I think that's what you know happened to a lot of people so I mean um but if you are strong connected with your spirit or your guiding angels your spirit guides you know that walk with you and protect you and your ancestors they will they will make it known so you can either put same matha on a table next to um, your ancestor also, and ask your ancestors to intervene. You can make just a little space for her, um, somewhere else. Um, you can use a green cloth, a purple cloth, a white cloth, whatever you want. Whatever you feel more comfortable with. Um, it's all about what, what you feel comfortable with. And I would do it, I would pray more than one time a day. Um, even if you're away from the altar, just sending that energy to her is, um, nice. So, you know, basic cup of water next to the, um, candle, print out a picture or grab the novena candle that has the prayer on the back. I don't like the prayer that says, um, for my, for my faith or something, I will light you every Tuesday. I don't have that one. Just in case I have, like, something happens or I'm not home or, you know, I just, I, I have I have a different one, but and um and you guys can mess with me for that if you want. So say Martha, like I said, great patron for women, great patron for protecting children, um enemies, evil, getting rid of enemies and evil, getting rid of people that no longer need to be in your life, shutting somebody's mouth up. You know, remember what I said about the kid in the school, somebody's messing around with the kid. Do the work on their mother. Um, I'm telling you, it'll, it'll change like that. And she has, um, I'm trying to think of anything else. You can put out rosary beads. You can put out, um, her prayer card. You can buy a prayer card. I actually make those too. 
So, um, same author prayer card if you don't have the image or just print out her picture. Easy as that. So, I mean, but if you wanted like a nice 8 by 10, I actually do with the big, um, laminates of prayer cards. So, um, and I only sell them for like 3 bucks, so cheap. But, and I have the little charm in there for her, so. Uh, anyway, so basically, same Martha. Awesome. You guys gotta try her. Green candle, if you don't have the picture, write her name on it. And you can write a petition and um, put it in the bottom. You could let it go on fire, put the ashes in a little bit. You could do many, many, many things with her, guys. And that's why I am just, but obviously cleanse yourself first and before, before and after the job. I don't understand why people don't do that. And I have my own blessing oil for her that I made with her her herbs. Um, I have that also on my Etsy store. So I just wanted to give information and pretty much spread her name because she's she's great. She's never done me wrong. She's always, like I said, if you are a person with a true heart and you are sincere, you're going to most likely get what you want, but you have to put your part into in the mundane world. That's what they call the physical realm. So if you, you know, if you're just a, a negative Nelly and you want to do all this stuff, be careful because it can backfire. Especially if you don't have the power of your ancestors to protect you. I mean, that's just dumb. But that's just my way. My way, I grew up, I grew up Catholic, you know, I mean, and, and here I am doing candle magic. But my ancestors are strictly Catholic. And they wanted me to light St. Anthony and, and this and that and do my herb things with them. And they would have never done that in life, wanted me to mix herbs and you know be like a so-called you know witch you know what I mean they they but they did it I got my family's grimoire my grandmother found I'm like oh my god like all this stuff we knew growing up anyways but it was just it's funny because the things I do refresh my grandmother's memory and then we just talk about it a lot so um the tradition has died out in a lot of families and some keep it some don't some like, say, my, cause my grandmother, for instance, she, um, had a very, very bad childhood, so she didn't really practice that much. So it kind of died out with my mother, but I was the one born with the abilities after. So my grandmother had no choice but to start showing me. So, um, yeah. Life is good, guys. Life is good. Say, Martha, I love you. You've done fabulous work for me, and I am here to spread your name. People, same Martha, you can use a saint with her stepping on the dragon or the black African St. Martha the Dominator. Same being, different things. She's got a snake wrapped around her neck and she's like this. Yeah, you can get that one too. I've used that. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And I mean, who wouldn't want St. Martha the Dominator, right? But you can use a saint too if you want, if you're uncomfortable with that image. Um, so I will check in with you guys later. Bye guys.